Honestly, I could watch him just play with these guns for hours and watch the one pile never shrink and one pile never grow. So weird. Yep. Well, limitations of programming and all that jazz. I know. Particularly when you want a looping animation. Hello, welcome to another edition of Arbitration Studios, continuing our journey across the whole damn thing of Fallout New Vegas's Honest Hearts DLC. I'm JP Arbiter. I'm Mrs. Arbiter. I'm fascinated by this guy. Let's talk to him. Welcome back. What can I do for you? <clears throat> I also accidentally stole a gun from him off screen and he just took it and said, We're understanding here, but don't take advantage. Anyway, what do you say about a courier? Who were you expecting? I've encountered other people expecting a courier in a place called Big Mountain and another one at uh, at the Sierra Madre. Caesar would never admit this openly, <clears throat> but he knows that I'm alive. I've killed enough of his frumentari and assassins that have come looking. I've heard one of them travels the Mojave as a courier. Most of Caesar's agents meet a fitting end in NCR territory, but maybe this one survived. Ah. I've met Caesar, you know. What it makes What do you think he would say if I told him you were here? I think that would put him and you in a difficult position. Caesar has agents looking for me, but he won't admit I'm alive. And even if you killed me, he can't acknowledge that. To do so would be to admit I had never died. That Caesar <laughs> made a mistake. No. Well, that he sounds lives like by his else lies we know. and shall die by his. A lies. lot of people know. There's no, no kidding. escaping it. Pray, God, what are you talking I'm about? I am a new Canaanite. We believe we are the heirs of a spiritual tradition given to our ancestors thousands of years ago. We have made and kept covenants with our Lord God to honor his laws. In exchange, we are promised eternal salvation after this life. Uh, a day will come when our Lord returns. Sorry, I am not a very religious person. Then, we must to quote Jed Masterson, I am not a praying man. Along the path of salvation if we can. That's why we trade with other <clears throat> each other. tribes. We have well. more than food and medicine to offer. Good news is our most valuable commodity. <laughs> Sounds like a good In deal. In a world filled with misery and uncertainty, it is a great comfort to know that, in the end, there is light in the darkness. Every day we move closer to our judgment. We must do our best to walk in the footsteps of our Lord and teach others how to do the same. For many of us, the road is a difficult one, but the path is always there for us to follow, no matter how many times we may fall. So, do you ever fall? Every day. Some days are harder than others. Yeah, uh, this makes it really fascinating because here's a man who was raised in a religious community. He didn't come to religion. He started from there. And then he fell and has come back, almost, kind of. In a manner of speaking. Yes, he's come back to the. <laughs> well, it's <coughs> it, it it it's one of those things where it's a uh, where it's a uh, I he, he'll explain it later. Anyway, nice guns in the Great Basin and Colorado Plateau. All tribes are known for a specific weapon. White legs are known for their big submachine guns, storm drums. They broke into an armory near Spanish Fork and have been using them for years. Of course, the Tommy dead horses have their wooden war clubs, and even the Sorrows have their Yao Guai gauntlets. This type of 45 automatic pistol was designed by one of my tribe almost 400 years ago. John Learning Moses Browning is a new mm -hmm. Canaanite writer. Who was a Mormon? Yes. So, do you run the show around here? I wouldn't say that. I am the acting war chief for the Dead Horses. They look up to me for such matters, but I only have the authority they give me. Daniel is and the that's spiritual leader, a way you main should look at the it. new Canaanites <laughs> to the Sorrows. That is... He's up in the <laughs> Narrows right now. Governance must come from the consent of the governed. <laughs> so what's going on with all these tribes? A great deal. 
There are three, make that four, tribes here in Zion. You've already met the White Legs on the way in. In this camp, you'll find dead horses. In the Narrows, the Sorrows. And finally, there's Daniel and myself. We're new Canaanites. Hmm. So why the White Legs attack my caravan? They attack everyone who isn't a White Leg. Especially caravans. <coughs> they don't know how to survive on their own, so they have to raid. But Which is so weird because here, eventually they are trying to human ingenuity out. should All take over. They want to join that. Caesar's legion, and they can only prove their worth by destroying the new Canaanites and everyone we shelter. Ah. Do they speak our language? Most don't. It's been hundreds of years since the war. They've developed their own languages. Hmm. Take the dead English horses. out of practice. We think they were originally refugees from a place called Rez, east of the Grand Canyon. <laughs> they speak a combination of Rez and a language spoken by travelers who were visiting Rez when the bombs fell. Over time, the two languages blended. As I was languages a yawn to do over the centuries. But it's hard to keep up with all of the tribal variations. So does the valley belong to the dead horses? The valley belongs to God, but no. The dead horses live at Dead Horse Point, up the Colorado River. They came here because I asked them to. I see. Before I returned to the fold, I visited them years earlier. I looked much different then. Translation, this is a mercenary oh, army brought, brought by Joshua. I taught them how to hunt more ah. efficiently, how to maintain their weapons and pre-war equipment. When I returned, they showed their appreciation. Hmm. Why haven't I seen any sorrows in the, the valley? The sorrows have many skilled hunters among them, but no warriors. They have not had to deal with war or raiders for decades. Even though they can hunt a full-grown Yaogwai, they don't know how to deal with the White Legs. That's why we're here. Ah. They don't know how to hunt people. So are the new Canaanites really a tribe? We wear more clothing than them and understand more about technology. But we're still a tribe. A linked family of families. Certainly a way Bonyard, of looking at it. Boneyard, Phoenix, New Vegas. They're just places. Metal and stone. New Canaan dies. But the tribe lives on. Asgard is not a place. Down when you lose everything Asgard's you have. <laughs> you always have family. And your family always has tribes. All right. Let's talk about something else. Can I ask you some personal questions? Right now, questions? I'd like you to focus on helping. All right. Okay. All righty. Well, you tried. What about what can you? Can I tell you? Uh, follow Chuck. Tell me a little about this area. Any interesting wildlife? Mostly, it's the mountain bighorners. Whole herd of them up on the cliffs there. Usually, they're not too aggressive, but lately. Whew. My guess is one of the calves got lost somewhere along the way. Bighorners are communal. One missing calf, and the whole herd gets ornery. If that calf doesn't turn up soon, they might... Maybe I can help with yeah. that. Hey, thanks. Most of the hunters don't listen when I tell them the problem. Just one thing. Try not to kill any bighorners if you can, yeah? You'll drive the herd off, and we'll have to range farther on our hunts. All right. Hmm. <clears throat> you might try luring... All right, I'll look into it. Also, now be passive. Let's not kill anyone yet. <clears throat> also, for, uh, for this DLC off-screen... I got a very lovely cult government model 1911A2 model, complete with both the forward and the rearward grip ribbing. Very nice. So that's a uh, new weapon that was uh, introduced in this uh, DLC. It's one of the better handguns in all of Fallout New Vegas. Which I can believe. That's... Um, the cult knight... The cult model 1911 is is to handguns what the AK-47 is to right uh to assault rifles. 
largely you, we could have debates endlessly about effectiveness but more than anything else influence the majority of semi-automatic magazine fed blowback operated handguns follow the follow the pattern developed from this uh from this particular firearm interesting big horners of the eastern virgin So. How some of the signs are still there is amazing. Yeah, you would think that at least the posts would be starting to decay. Well, the posts are metal. Hmm. True. Huh. Ah. Oh, so yeah, the we got it. Booth. Okay. Kind of like that welcome spot in Red Rock. Welcome home, West Virginia, where Fallout 76 can't hurt anyone. It's kind of <laughs> sad that, I'm a little sad that we weren't able to really, it was too, it was ill-advised to be walking through the trails at the time. Well, it was just too freaking hot. Yeah. About April, I think they say, is the most optimal time yeah, for the trails. The thing about... <clears throat> desert trails are manageable if you are properly educated. Um, you need plenty of water, plenty of shade. It's best to do it either in the early mornings or in the late evenings as the sun is going down. To wait, you need a flashlight in both cases. Huh. Oh. Didn't expect that one. Um. You need a flashlight in the mornings because you need to start early enough in order to complete like a uh, five mile loop no. that uh, that the extra illumination would just be helpful. Um, or if it's evening time, you know, basically af after dinner-ish. <laughs> nope. 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 I got no quarrel with you, big big guy. You just want to help find the baby. You got a baby to find. So, um... <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Hold on. Let me pick some of this goop so I up. I... Banana yucky. <laughs> okay, that's not ours. Oh, that's a different one. That is a different one. Oh, here we go. Up here. Up here. Look at those beautiful rendered uh, <laughs> mesquite trees that are not that, that like were really impressive back then, back when this game was made, ten years ago. I know. So much has changed. <laughs> Thing is that the second that... It's like with computers, the second one is out, it's almost like it's in... Well, and video games like to push graphical fidelity, even though we are well past the point of, uh, of uh, diminishing returns on that. Interact with Lost Bighorn or Calf. All right, buddy. Here, you follow me. You follow me. But yeah, um, the other thing is to bring plenty of water. Because um, in desert heat, you will get dehydrated fast. Um, camelbacks are a great resource for this. Because it used to be that for a good desert haul, you'd need... Uh, for, for a good, like, five mi uh, 
five mile or so desert hall, you would need like to carry about two gallons worth of water on you. The way I heard it, salt. But uh, now, and now Camelbacks can do that in a in a soft rimmed container. Buddy. Buddy. Where are you, buddy? I think his, it's a graphical glitch, I think. No kidding. <laughs> Come on. That's... Come on. Alright, we're just gonna go and hope that you, like, Unblitch. follow. Yeah. I would really, really, really hate to kill you. Ah. There you are. The glitch is gone. The glitch is gone. <laughs> oh. West Virginia. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it's... And again, that's just a five-mile trail that you got to be cautious about. I mean, we were just prancing around some rocks and shit, so... Yeah. Why would I want to keep the calf? What the hell is it going to do? Yeah, that doesn't make sense. All right, Fallish Chalk, what's your story? What can I tell you? Well, I returned the calf and I didn't kill any Ooh. of the goats. Glad to hear it. That'll be some happy... So, where do we need to look for these pre-war supplies? The place to look for back when stuff is the taboo places. Sorrows and dead horses don't go in there. And even white legs don't like them much. <laughs> what taboo Lots places? Lots of them around the valley. Places built by the folk from back when. You'll know them when you see them. Scouts mark them with handprints. The handprints are a warning to keep out. Angry ghosts live inside. Not you mean that robots, I believe right? in angry ghosts. They're just spooky old places. Right? <laughs> Where should we start Lots looking? Of back when places to choose from. But for the things we need, best to start with the really closed up places. So the like the I buildings. Know of, a building down by the river called a fishing lodge. The old ranger station in the north, closer to home, might be something you can salvage from the place where the little ones fell, just west of the Eastern Virgin. All right. What is this place where the little ones fell? In the river, there's a twisted pile of metal and glass, all full of bones. Joshua says they were scouts, but they looked awful small to me. <laughs> Lots of that old stuff. Uh, Boy scouts. How do you say it? Uh, electronics. Maybe. All right. So, who are those tribals that White attacked legs. me? Nasty bunch. They've been raiding deeper into Zion ever since New Canaan was wiped out. Where do they come from? That's the weird part. Normally, the White Legs keep to the Great Salt Lake. <laughs> I don't know what brought them down this far south. I want to know more about what you. Why are you called follow chalk? Our advanced scouts leave chalk signs to mark places rich with game. I'm not a full scout yet, so I follow the marks and guide the hunters. <laughs> what are all those tattoos? Dead horses mark ourselves <clears throat> to commemorate our hunts. When a hunter takes a great beast, or when a youth goes on his first hunt, he gets a tattoo. <laughs> Neat. Tell me about your tribe. We came up in the land of the dead horse, though... Why the back when folks called it that, I got no hint. <laughs> we raided. We fought. We lost. Our enemies drove us back into Zion, and we would have died if it hadn't been for Joshua. Joshua and his Kaisar. Hmm. So, wait, what about Caesar? When Joshua first came to us, he was servant to a man he called Kaisar. Um... He led his master's armies and 
We were ready to Dead Horse to Point war. is another then state he lost park his master's army to uh, located in Utah, Utah, similar to Zion. The Sunset People. When he returned, he was as you saw him. Burned. Broken. But changed. He led us away from Kaisar. Led us to our own destiny in Zion. It's close... I mean, it, it, it's in a whole cluster fucking basically southern Utah. So, what Joshua do if for you? If it wasn't for Joshua, the dead horses would still be the whipping boys of the Zion Valley. He taught us how to hold our territory, to protect ourselves. He guided us away from Kaisar and showed us how Kaisar would have destroyed us. All right. So, what do you know about New Canaan? A little bit. I met some of their missionaries <clears throat> a few times, but I've never been to their city. Joshua could tell you more. Or Daniel, I imagine. All right. What's with the shell casings on your club? We decorate our clubs with them to honor Joshua Graham. They were the weapons of his old tribe. So now, they are ours. <laughs> Can't say they seem that dangerous to me. But Joshua says they won the West. Is it just me or does Falish Chalk's nipple need a piercing? <laughs> it just it just hangs there exposed. I mean, do you remember anything from about Joshua from before he became your leader? Only a little. I was very young. He was different. Prouder, yes, but harder, crueler, more driven. Really, I was terrified of him. We all were. When he came back, I almost didn't believe he was the same man. He was humbler. He wanted to protect, not destroy. So why is it so important we fight the White Legs? Well, because they're our enemies. What else would we do? They take our land, they kill our scouts, they poach our hunting grounds. All right. Well, there's a very simple reasoning. Go with fortune, friend. <coughs> so, go with fortune in Fallout New Vegas. Okay. Bitter plants and the um, monster men aren't native to Zion. think that's a good place to call it for now. We are going to take a quick break. Uh, if you like what you saw, be sure to click the like and subscribe button. Yada, yada, yada. Um, when we come back, we will go on Joshua's little fetch quest for stuff to help people get out of the canyon. So, with that, we'll be seeing you kids. Later, later.